making phone calls is the most basic function of a smartphone. I mean, it was the only reason behind the invention of a phone. So of course, it's super annoying when calls fail on an iPhone. This glitches affect a lot of people, but don't worry, I'm here to help you out. So make sure you watch this video till the end. The first solution to this problem is to dial star hash 31 hash. Maybe you've accidentally set your iPhone number to be hidden in all outgoing calls for the leading to call failure. So just dial star hash 31 hash on your device. It will show you a screen that looks like this after a little processing and done. It is one of the hidden codes that can disable iPhone's outgoing anonymity status. Next and a very underrated yet very powerful solution to this problem is to turn on airplane mode and then turning it off. But you're not supposed to do it from control center. Instead, you'll have to open settings app, tap on the icon for airplane mode to enable it. And then after 30 seconds, tap on the same toggle to disable it. Now try to make a phone call and it should probably work. But even after that, if you're having trouble in making phone calls, try force restarting your iPhone. And to do this, press the volume up button, then volume down button, and then press and hold on the side button until you see the Apple logo. Sometimes what I've also noticed is that it's not the software, it's not the device that is making an issue, but it's the SIM card that's making the trouble. So in this case, until unless you have an iPhone 14 model that you purchased from US, just use the SIM ejector pin and remove the SIM card carefully and insert it back in. If you think network is the culprit behind all of this trouble, try resetting your iPhone's network settings. And don't worry, any of your data or even your Apple ID settings won't be affected at all, but your connected Wi-Fi networks, your connected Bluetooth networks, all your VPNs and all those network related things, yeah, they'll be erased. And to do that, open settings app, tap on general, tap on reset, Reset network settings. And if it didn't work out for you, you can also try resetting all settings. But you do not have to worry about it since it's not your personal data, it's just the settings on the device that will be erased. One thing that will fix this issue and even any other glitch or bug on your device is to update your iPhone software. And it is highly, highly recommended to update your iPhone software as soon as Apple launches it. To do that, you have to open the settings app, tap on general, Tap on software update and if you see a pending update available, tap on download and install. Once the process is complete, there's a high possibility that this issue will be resolved on your device. Maybe someday you intentionally or unintentionally blocked a particular contact. And now that you're trying to contact them, your iPhone isn't letting you contact them and just is blocking your calls by a call field. If that's the problem that you're facing, just make sure that the number that you're trying to contact isn't blocked. To make sure, open settings app, Tap on phone, scroll down and then tap on blocked contacts. And now if the person or the number that you're trying to contact is added here, swipe right to left and tap on unblock. Call forwarding may also create interference, hence leading to call failed. And if you're facing multiple call failure issues, it is probably advisable to turn off this feature. To do this, open the settings app and tap on phone. Next, tap on call forwarding, wait for it to load and if it is enabled, tap on the toggle to disable it. Finally, if any of these steps haven't helped you out, then it's time to contact your carrier. You can reach them out via email, via Twitter, via their app, or even by visiting their physical store. Make sure there's no pending bill or any other interruption that has resulted in termination of your services. So that is it for this video. Do let me know in the comments down below which step has managed to fix the issue for you so that other people can also prioritize that particular step. If you like what you watched, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, and download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store in order to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me, Ash, signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.